Stop wasting time with confusing tutorials. This is the fastest and easiest way to install Kodi in 2025, even if you've never done it before. Kodi is one of the most powerful apps for streaming movies, TV shows, live sports, pay-per-view events, and even adult content. But installing it correctly is where most people mess up. And in this video, I'll walk you through the full setup from start till finish, step by step. So grab your device and let's dive in right away. No matter your level of experience, this guide is designed for everyone. All you need to do is follow each step carefully and completely to achieve the best results. If you skip any part of this video, you might miss out on the chance to enjoy the latest movies, shows, pay-per-view events, and more. But that's not all. By following these instructions to install Kodi, you'll also gain access to an incredible platform that offers not only the Kodi app, but also 300 dedicated applications, each providing access to the latest and greatest content. So stick with me for just a few minutes and you'll unlock all of these incredible content. So let's start with step number one. Head over to your search magnifier and scroll down with the Amazon remote control. Highlight the search bar and click confirm on the remote control. Now we're gonna search for an application called Downloader. Just typing D, O, and you can already see Downloader appearing if you scroll down. Highlight it and click confirm. It's gonna be the first app you see appearing, the orange with white. Click confirm. And in this menu, you wanna click confirm once again to start the download and installation process. In here, all you have to do is wait patiently. After it's done installing, what you wanna do is press the home button on your remote control. You'll be taken back to the home screen. Now you wanna to go to your settings gear. The easiest way to do this is scrolling all the way to the top right corner on your Fire Stick home screen, right here. Now you wanna scroll down until you highlight my Fire TV or my device. Click confirm and you have a few options here. The second option for me is developer options. If you don't have that, don't worry. We're gonna unlock that right now. Highlight about and click confirm. Again, in here you have a few options. What we wanna do is click confirm nine times on Fire Stick 4K Max. It might say something else for you depending on the Fire Stick device you have. That's totally fine. Just click confirm on the remote control for nine times and after that you will become a developer. Just like that. After that you can press the return button on the remote control and you will see the developer options appearing. Enter it and the first thing you wanna do here is toggle on ADB debugging. Just click confirm and that's it. Now you wanna scroll down and enter install unknown apps. And in here, we're gonna find the downloader application we just installed. Highlight it and click confirm on the remote control and that's toggled on. Now you can press the home button and you'll be taken back to the home screen. What we're gonna do now is find the downloader app. The easiest way to find it is in our apps and you can find our apps right here, this icon. Click confirm on the remote control and scroll down till the end. That's where you'll always find your recent installed applications. Click confirm to enter it. First time opening up the downloader application, it's gonna pop up this menu. Click confirm to allow and click confirm to hide this message. Now in here, you wanna scroll up to the search bar right here. Now click confirm and it's gonna pop up the keyboard. And here is where we're gonna type in a secret code. Now the secret code is gonna be 8837673. Highlight go and click confirm. Now wait patiently for the web page to get loaded up fully. You might get this message popped up. All you have to do is hover over with your remote control to accept right here and click confirm. Now it's gonna continue loading up the web page. Now you might need to verify yourself by hovering over here and clicking confirm, but it did this automatically for me. All right, the web page is fully loaded up. This platform is amazing. 
you have access to over 300 exclusive applications. So the first thing you want to do when entering this platform is pressing the option button on your remote control. It's going to pop up this menu and you want to scroll down and click confirm on add current page to favorites. Now you don't need to type in that code anymore and you can easily access this platform just by entering downloader and pressing the option button and going to favorites. There you have it. After that is done, I want you to press the option button again on your remote control and scroll down until you highlight full screen mode. Click confirm and now you have a super easy user interface. Now scroll down. Now make sure that you have a VPN. If you don't have a VPN, you'll see your IP address right here. It's visible for everyone. That's why it's super important to have a VPN so you're protected. Now if you continue on scrolling down, you'll find search and filters. In here you can select any category you want and you'll only see the apps appearing in that category. So it's made super easy for you to select and find any apps you want. And every app also has its own description. Let me show you. If I for instance click on YouTube and scroll down and click confirm on any of these applications that perhaps I'm not familiar with but I am interested in finding out what it is. After you've selected an application, scroll down and you'll find the description of any application. So it's super nice to have a good explanation before installing anything. Now if you press return on the remote control, you'll be taken back to search and filters. Oh, and you'll always see the apps I use daily right at the top. With these, you won't need anything else. They have it all. Sports, adult content, live streams, and even on-demand content, all in one place. All right, let's go ahead and finally install Kodi. On the page, I want you to scroll down and where it says search and filter, click confirm on search downloads and type in Kodi. Just like that. And then I want you to highlight next and scroll down until you find the Kodi app right here. Click confirm on it. You'll be taken right here and I want you to scroll down and click on the download button that's on the top. The top is always where you get the latest downloads. So just click on it and you'll be entered to a quick verification that might be or might not. Uh, just wait patiently until you see the check uh, checkbox. Um, takes a moment or two. Just wait for it and there you go. Now click on the checkbox and now it's gonna start the downloading process. If by any chance you are unable to download it, make sure to turn on your VPN or change the location. If you don't have a VPN yet, please check out the link in the description and uh, you'll grab yourself a one. It's very simple and uh, useful. Now, after the downloading process is finished, you'll be taken to the installation uh, menu right here. And I want you to just highlight install and click confirm. And now it's uh, starting the installation process and that's how easy it is. After it's done, you can uh, just uh, click on done and delete the file so you'll free up some space. And that's how easy it is to install any of these apps. Now after that, I want you to press the home button and you'll find the app on your home screen. But there's a very important note. Before we open and continue with the Xenon build, I highly recommend you turning on your VPN. Now if you don't got a VPN yet, please follow along with these few simple steps. If you're in the US, Canada or in the UK, you might receive something like this from your internet provider after using certain apps. Your browsing activity and the apps you use are fully visible to your internet provider, putting your privacy at serious risk. To make sure this doesn't happen to you, you need a reliable VPN like IPVanish. I'm going to show you how to get the best deal and walk you through installing and using it on your Fire Stick. I've chosen IPVanish because it ranks as one of the best and most affordable VPNs. Plus you can install it on all your devices with no limitations on the number of devices. This is by far my top recommendation when it comes to keeping you 100% safe and secure while enjoying apps like these. And not only that, it will also bypass all those restrictions your internet provider is putting on your devices. Now, before I open any of these apps, I always make sure my VPN is turned on. Now I'm going to make it super easy for you to get one. All you need to do is open any browser on your phone, tablet or PC and go to this website. You can also take out your camera and scan the QR code. Additionally, I'll also leave the link in the description. Now on this website, you'll see an exclusive discount. Choose your plan or just try it for one month. Complete your purchase 
and once you do, they'll email you with the confirmation with your username and password. After that, you're ready to secure your Fire Stick. On your Fire Stick, go to the home screen, then find the search icon. Scroll down and click on the search bar. And when the keyboard pops up, type in IP Vanish. Select the app from the list. In this menu, click download to start the downloading and installation process. Once installed, go to the home screen, click on all apps icon right here, scroll down and find the IP Vanish app. Click the menu button on the remote control, select move and place the app all the way to the top. Click confirm, now open the IP Vanish app and log in with your username and password. Now, before we hit connect, I want to show you a few settings. Scroll down and select the settings gear. You'll see a menu appear on the other side of your screen. Now I've highlighted where it says connect on Android startup. If I click the confirm button and turn this on, you won't have to worry about turning on your VPN every time you power up your device. The VPN will connect automatically so you won't have to interrupt your movie to check if it's on. It'll do it for you. IP Vanish also offers split tunneling which lets you choose which apps use the VPN. This is perfect for keeping local apps, showing local content when needed. It allows you to route some of your apps or network traffic through the VPN, while other local apps access the internet directly without going through the VPN. And here you'll also have easy access to your account information, and you can contact support if you have any questions or concerns. All right, now hit the return button and select connect. You might see a pop-up asking if you're sure if you want to connect to the VPN. Just click OK, give your system a moment, and once you see your country light up in green, you know you're protected. you also see a timer showing how long you've been connected. Now that that's done, simply click the home button on your remote control. The VPN will continue to run in the background, keeping you safe and secure. Now you can use any of these applications and enjoy unrestricted content while staying anonymous. No more internet provider letters ruining your day. Now we're going to find Kodi we just installed. Head over to your apps, this icon right here, press confirm and you'll find Kodi all the way in the end. Press the option button and select move. Now scroll up because you want Kodi to be on top. After that is done, click confirm and it's going to open up Kodi for the first time. It's going to pop up this message, click confirm and click confirm to allow also. And that's that. Now it's going to prepare for the first run. So ladies and gentlemen, Kodi itself is just a media player app, but just bear with me for a few more minutes and we'll get Kodi fully loaded up to get access to the latest movies, live TV, live sports, pay-per-view events, and more. So now Kodi is fully loaded up, you want to go to your settings gear, scroll up and to the right, this icon right here, click confirm on the remote control and you want to highlight system, scroll down and to the right, highlight it right here and click confirm. In here, scroll down until you highlight add-ons, scroll to the right and go down until you highlight unknown sources. Click confirm on the remote control and click confirm on yes, and that's done. Now press return on the remote control and head over to file manager. Click confirm and scroll down until you highlight add source. Click confirm and click confirm and it's gonna pop up the keyboard. Now we're gonna type in a link you'll also see the link appearing on screen. It might be a bit difficult and long, but we'll get there. Just do exactly what I'm doing. And this is not the right icon right here. Scroll until you highlight the shift button, this icon right here, press confirm, and now you'll see the right one appearing. And we're almost there. There you go. After you typed it in completely, highlight OK. And scroll down until you highlight OK again. Click Confirm. And now you want to press the Return button on the remote control and go to Add-ons. Highlight it, click Confirm, 
and scroll down until you highlight install from zip file. Click confirm in here and go to the folder we just installed. Click confirm, scroll down, click confirm once again and wait patiently for it to get installed. You can see right now it's installed on the top right corner. Now you want to scroll up once, highlight this and click confirm. Scroll down twice, highlight this, click confirm. In here, you want to go all the way down until you highlight program add-ons. Click confirm on it and you want to scroll down once until you highlight chef, click confirm and you're already highlighting install. So just click confirm in here and click confirm once again to start the downloading and installation process. This might take some time. All you're seeing right here is totally normal. Just wait patiently. Don't press anything after it's installed. It's going to open up this menu automatically. You can click confirm once and wait again. Don't press anything. It's automatically going to pop up this menu. You want to highlight yes and click confirm. And in here, you want to scroll down twice until you highlight the free version and click confirm on it. Highlight continue, click confirm. And it's downloading our build. We're almost there. Just bear with me for a few more minutes. And remember, make sure your VPN is turned on. You want to stream freely, but stay hidden. Again, it's very important. Just wait patiently. This might take a few minutes. Installation complete. Now we're going to click confirm on the remote control and it's going to force close Cody. That's totally fine. Cody is closed. Wait a few seconds and click confirm to open Cody. Now it's going to open up Cody with the latest build. All right, we're finally there. You finally got Cody with the latest Xenon version. You have access to all the content you need. Now, first time opening up Kodi, after we install the Xenon version, please let it rest for five minutes. It's going to download and install all add-ons in the background. Now, if you used the VPN link in the description, thank you so much. You're not only enhancing your security, but you're also helping support this channel so we can continue with these videos. Thank you all for watching and don't forget, I'll see you in the next one.